Oh, you want me to do more? We're oh, not yeah. Just gonna read. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know the plan was one at a time. Or no. I thought it was. Gonna, I thought we were gonna do one a week. That is okay. We can read the next one. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, let's do a couple, and if we want to uh, continue, we can we can check in on this every week. Okay. That one was too easy. That one. That one. <laughs> too easy. Shit. That was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So the next one is is a little strange. By 1997, and I'm reading these verbatim. By 1997, Vince McMahon Jr.'s son, Sean McMahon, will have assumed <laughs> control of Oops. the WWF, spurred by the success of the NWA through 1995 and 1996. McMahon will build the WWF into an international empire greater than his father or grandfather ever dreamed of. <laughs> In 1997, oh. one of the television's television season's top 10 programs will be a primetime comedy drama featuring WWF stars. My father <laughs> simply thought too small was he, when he was in charge. In charge, Sean will say. So here are the problems. <laughs> is, is Sean his real name? No, it's Shane. No, it, is it is Shane. Shane. No, no, is it, it, is it Shane. actual Shane? He didn't just be like, well, I'll just call myself Shane for television. I, I'm going to look that up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all, we're all rushing to Wikipedia. Like I said, I, I think like 1988, they didn't have Wikipedia to double check these things. So That's I think true. it's just... <laughs> That's and plus, true, yeah. you already it's saw Shane. how great Shane that Brand thing is Brand. written. So... I think it all just kind of comes Fuck it. His, his name's Sean now. Sean. <laughs> just pointing out there's Shane, your name's Sean. <laughs> so here's the weird thing. It's not that far off, except it's not Shane, it's Vince. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. I, I They didn't really kind of count on the longevity of, I mean, the, the drama, the, the evening drama thing is weird. But they have is an it? evening show that's in the top Five and, and, cable. and really, if you think about it, this, is in 1988, right? So their idea of what a wrestling show could have been was probably based on the old NWA match, 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 right, match, right, promo, right. match, match. They probably didn't foresee a Vince Russo written um, segments, soap opera style. That this may have been. So it did kind of happen. It did kind of happen in that it it may be that the wrestling started taking on some of those more comedy, more drama aspects rather than just stay strictly a professional wrestling show. Hmm. Can I, I'm going to read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that, good, that good, huh? This, this part goes a little insane. <laughs> Sean McMahon kills work, right? <laughs> no, no, no. But before I read this, I'd like to remind you that it, it, it mentions WrestleMania 14. WrestleMania 14 was the year that we had Mike Tyson, Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having already built the WWF into an international empire, Shawn McMahon <laughs> will turn it into an empire of literally astronomical proportions in 1998 no! by holding the WrestleMania 14 main event in space. <laughs> what the hell? Yes. Two years. Kevin later, Nash read this. Two years later, the United I'm sorry, two years earlier, the United States will have established its first permanent manned space station in orbit, and the main event will be a cooperative venture with NASA, which will <laughs> be conducting extensive studies into the nature of uh, <laughs> nature and effects of weightlessness on athletic activities. Financial limitations will prevent the entire card from being held in space, as well as prevent any kind of crowd from viewing it live. <laughs> oh, thank God. All closed circuit and pay-per-view TV records will be broken, as fans pay up to upwards of $1,000 for a chance to see the event. <laughs> Fuck it, I would. I love the idea of Steve Austin versus Shawn Michaels in space. In space. 